just hanging out in my garden, or at least the back of my garden, slowing down for the day and just reflecting, gathering thoughts, tapping into cosmic wisdom, tapping out with the natural world around me, my plants, the salt bush here. This is actually edible here. Kind of wish the kangaroos would eat that, but they don't because all the other animals love it. Sheep love it. Don't know if cows love it, but so this is what it's all about. Just taking life day by day. A lot of us just look forward, continually looking forward and just lose sight of just being present in, in just today, in, in the moment right now. And, and that can take some real unwinding of, you know, m the mental effort to unwind and deprogram and uncondition the way you think. And don't wait until you're forced to slow down, you know, either by, I don't know, like physical challenge or, you know, whatever. Allow yourself to um, de-plug, disconnect from the world every single day. You owe it to yourself and you deserve to simply unplug and detach yourself every day, every day, and just to reflect on the day's events, what happened throughout the day, and just recollect and process. Give thanks that you're breathing, that you're alive, that you're coherent, that you're good. So easy to just live life superfluously and 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 very passively and and not to give thanks. And you might be asking, well, who do I give thanks to? You give thanks to, to consciousness itself. And sorry, I'm just kind of taken <laughs> right now. So, you know, just, just giving thanks. Yeah, giving thanks. I'm giving thanks. I'm actually happy that. I'm just wondering if it's somebody I know, actually. It is somebody I know. Um, giving thanks to the universe, giving thanks that you're alive, that you're breathing, and giving thanks to God, giving thanks to all that is. Even just, even if you don't know what you're thankful for, just giving thanks, just giving thanks that you're alive, you're in physical, you're breathing, you're well, you're okay, you know, just for the small things we so often take for granted and we all do it so allowing that time for yourself every day just to decompress disconnect and and give thanks and and the one thing about disconnecting and allowing time for inner reflection is that it really makes you become consciously aware of what you're putting out into the universe and believe me people it is so important to to be very conscious of every single thing and thought that you have and do what you're putting out what you're projecting out because that will ultimately define what is to come for you and thoughts are things when you project those out they become constructs they become manifestations and, and they may not readily come back to you, but they, you are giving energy life. You're giving attention to energy and it's becoming something. So be very conscious and mindful of what you think, how you feel and how also you treat others. If there's anything, you know, because a lot of people grapple with what their purpose in and what their purpose is and what their life's about. Um, 
if anything, it's, you know, a lot of your purpose is just how you interact with others, other humans, other life forms, and just ha having consciousness with everything that you do. And, and even the interactions you don't have with people, but you may, you may see a picture of somebody and you, you think something. Be careful of your thoughts as well in, in that regard because it all manifests in some way, shape or form. And your, th your thoughts are so powerful. You know, they can, they can just move mountains. And, you know, if, you, if you're around someone, for example, who is completely negative, as in they're very judgmental of others, they see someone and they're judging them and they, they may say, oh, look at that person, oh my God, look at them, or you know, even nastier, you know, saying awful things. They are only hurting themselves. They are only doing themselves a disservice and you can absolutely make yourself sick and ill when you have these thoughts like this and, and or even speaking them out because it's affecting everything around. So it can take some real training to be very conscious of, of what you put out. And, and really, really it is. Everything counts, everything counts. And so, you know, when you often hear um, uh, information or, or really divine information, divine wisdom about, you know, thinking of God and thinking of the divine with every thought, action and deed. It's, it's kind of what you've got to do. This is where the change starts right here within you. When you start to act in accordance to you know, the, the most authentic you can be and the best you can be and the most loving and the most compassionate and most forgiving that you can be, it ripples out and you are changing the field. You are changing the ether. When people, when, you know, when this talk about this ascension coming and the new age, the golden age, the age, you know, of the fifth dimensional realm or you know, whatever, it, it doesn't matter what it's called, but the upliftment of humanity, this is how it's done. And I've said it before, it's not like one day we wake up and there's a, you know, a blanket of golden cosmic energy that's sweeping and sprinkling over everybody and suddenly, whoo, we all become golden age and, and fifth dimensional. That's not how it works. We are here on earth the heavy planet, the planet of trials and tribulations to work out our stuff and, and to rise and ascend on an individual level. And for when we do it individually, it becomes a collective because once one person does it, then a couple of others do it, a couple of others do it, and, and it has that rippling effect. This is how consciousness on this planet will rise our ascension is is this is how it will happen so this is what it's meant by talking about this great ascension this great awakening and the planet is very much going through that now and working out all this stuff and this is why it's so chaotic and crazy on the planet all this all this heavy polarity going on is because this stuff has to be worked out. It has to be worked out before this planet can change in frequency. And so this is where we help each other. This is where we really have to open our hearts and ex expand our love to one, another, to one another. This is where we become more generous, more kind, more compassionate less judging, you know, less, less judgmental um, and, and, and sharing, sharing ourselves and, and our abundance with others and, and 
and, and, and it's not just, you know, being generous isn't just about a financial contribution. Being generous is giving someone your time for maybe five or 10 minutes, someone that's had a shitty day and you actually can see that they're having a bad day and you actually go up to them and say, hey, are you okay? Can I help you in any way? That is being generous. Or, um, you know, what, what else? I'm trying to think, there's so many endless examples of being generous not just to people, but being generous to the nature around, around you. Planting a garden is being generous to the earth. You know, giving Mother Earth your time and cultivating her is being generous. Um, walking to work instead of driving is being generous and being conscious of your carbon footprint. You know, I don't know, like, do you know what I mean? You know when you are being generous and when it feels good to give back. Um, it may be just saying a kind word to somebody, telling someone, by the way, I love you. I love you. You look so good today. You inspire me to better myself. It could be anything like that. It could be anything. But we have to do it first. We can't wait for somebody to do it for us. You, you can't say, oh, well, I'm, and I'm not going to be nice to her until she's nice to me. <laughs> can't do that. You have got to lead by example. And it's tough because there are absolutely people that grate us in our life and really rub us the wrong way. And think about people like that in your life, people that really twitch you, people that really bother you. And, and think of 10 things good about them. Think about 10 things that makes you smile about this person you will see how your energy about them shifts because we're all made of the divine no matter how ugly we can be to each other or whatever we're all made of that stuff and we're all here to teach each other we all have the the divine blueprint within us and we we have to help each other and so you know life is about coming together, meaningful interactions, being tolerant of our weaknesses, being more compassionate, more forgiving, more generous, more loving. That in itself, you know, it's a lot of effort and it's, it's a lot of teaching. It's a, it's a lot of learning, teaching and learning within oneself. And it's, it's life work. You know, this is life work right here. And a lot of people that, you know, don't know what they're doing. You have to trust that there, there are aspects of yourself that do know. And so to trust, trust in that. Trust in what is going on for you right now. Just trust. That's all you have to do. Just trust and surrender. Surrender to all that is. Surrender to yourself. Surrender to how your life is right now. Just saying, most radiant one, God, goddess, universe, I surrender to you. I surrender to you. And I know that you have my best interests at heart. It can just be a, a small statement like that when you wake up in the morning. Thank you, universe, for giving me, you know, the best possible opportunities today. And thank you so much for, for giving me fantastic interactions. And I feel so blessed that I can have these and, and help somebody else in their life. And everything is noted. Everything is noted. Nothing is ever not noticed. Everything, every thought, every action, every deed is recorded and noted. Don't think you can get away with anything because you can. So make it count, make it important, make it worthwhile and, and of noble quality, whatever it is that you do, make it count. And enjoy the solitude and slow down and enjoy your life. Enjoy earth, look at this blue sky, are you kidding? I'm so grateful for a beautiful clear blue sky. I could be in a place where there's smoke and pollution. Are you kidding? I'm so lucky right now. 
cosmic energy at its finest love the universe love you guys